Let's prove the trig. Let's prove the trig identity on the left is equal to the right. I'm going to start off first by going down here. And I'm going to um, rewrite each of these down here. So cotangent theta. But hold on a second here. So I'm going to get one minus uh, sine theta over the cosine theta, and then one or plus tangent theta over one minus cosine theta over sine theta. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some tricks here with the denominator. So cotangent theta, make this cosine theta minus sine theta. And this right here is going to become just simply cosine theta plus tangent theta over um, sine theta minus cosine theta all over oops sine theta and furthermore um, what I'm going to do next move that to the top so what we're going to get here is since we got the cotangent there let me see here for a second um, All right, yeah, that's right. So I'm going to end up with cosine theta over sine theta times sine theta all over sine minus cosine theta plus, oops, this should be, uh, sorry, this should actually be cosine theta minus sine theta. And this should be cosine theta. I'm sorry about that plus sine theta over cosine theta times um, sine theta all over sine theta minus cosine theta. So what we're going to get now is move over here. I'm going to get cosine squared theta over sine theta minus sine squared theta over cosine theta and what I did is I multiplied through this and this is going to all be over oops cosine theta minus sine theta this can be further made in two um, let's see looking at my notes here cosine cube theta minus sine cube theta all over sine theta, cosine theta, all over cosine theta minus sine theta. Now following uh, rules of cubes, I can pull out a cosine theta minus sine theta on top, and I end up with cosine squared theta plus sine theta, cosine theta, plus sine squared theta, all over sine theta, cosine theta, over cosine theta, minus sine theta. And bringing this around here. Um, what this does is I can remove these two here. I can remove this and I can remove this. Furthermore, um, the sine cosine theta here, let me write this down back here. Here, so I got cosine squared theta plus sine theta cosine theta plus sine squared theta over sine theta cosine theta what happens now is, um, yeah, that's right. These right here, where am I? These two turn into one. So you end up with one plus sine theta cosine theta all over sine theta cosine theta. And let me see here for a second. Um, 
Oops, let me scratch that for a second. <laughs> Sorry. What we're going to do here, okay, so we get um, cosine squared theta over sine theta, cosine theta, plus sine theta, cosine theta, over sine theta, cosine theta, plus sine squared theta over sine theta, cosine theta. And what happens here, this cancels out to be 1. And these turn out to be, um, where are you here? This turns into 1, gets rid of this. And this gets rid of this, this turns to 1. So you end up with, down here, you get cosine theta over sine theta plus um, 1 plus sine theta over cosine theta, which is ultimately um, cotangent theta plus 1 plus tangent theta. That's it. Problem solved.